My name is John and I'm going to do a one year review on this NS Gravel Plus road bike. I've been riding this thing now for about a year and a half or so, so I guess it's a year and a half review. And it's been surprisingly a lot of fun. Now, who is this bike for? That's the first question I'm going to answer. I am a dirt jumper, BMXer, uh, dad, green hair, um, likes to play with Legos, and you might notice there's Legos here in this review. Why is that? Well, it's a little bit distracting, but that's exactly what this bike is for. This is for that rider, mountain biker, BMXer, road biker that hasn't quite fit the mold, but uh, when you're riding along and you're getting bored and you see a rock or a little jump or a little single track, you can hop on it, ride for a little bit, then get back on the road and finish out your ride. Uh, I never ever foresaw myself riding a drop bar bike, you know, I was like, oh, I need a new mountain bike, I need full suspension, you know, I gotta save my money. I'm sure you guys have all felt that predicament, but uh, my wife a year ago said that she wanted to do a long race, and I said, well, I'd be willing to do that, but you gotta give me permission to buy a bike to do a long race on, and this is the bike I, I decided. So. I typically ride an NS Majesty, and I thought, well, that's a cool bike. So this Reg Plus comes from the same DNA, and I thought that might be something I would enjoy riding. And it has not let me down. It has been a lot of fun. This bike comes with a SRAM Apex uh, hydraulic gear train and brake system. Uh, it's 11 speed, 11 to 42 teeth, 42 teeth gear up front. 11 to 42 in the back. I have had no issues whatsoever. And in my experience, the more basic systems are often a little more on the reliable side. So kind of hitting that middle ground between super performance and reliability. Uh, and that with a gravel bike when you're 50 miles into the woods is kind of a useful thing. Reliability is key. These rims have been awesome. I have tested them uh, with stoppies and turning around on the front wheel and endos and going on some pretty rough trail no problems they're basically mountain bike spec you know kind of a thinner version these hubs are amazing that's one of the reasons i got this bike so these little uh, oil slick hubs and they've got the rubber band on there that keeps them clean so uh, one of the things i wanted to show you guys is check it out my last ride was a little bit on the muddy side and I am typically pretty anal about having a clean bike because a clean bike is a working bike. But even though it was muddy, these hubs are sparkling. Love it. Carbon fork, 15 millimeter axles. So you can swap out for a 27.5 or 650B uh, wheel set if you got that. This is the extra large. And so it comes with a 110 millimeter stem. And these are zip. Ergo 70, I believe 44 centimeter handlebars. And you notice they've got the, the one by system there and no levers on there. One thing I like about the SRAM is to, this is how you, how you shift, but the levers stay put. So when you're on rough trail or gravel or you're doing tricks or something on your bike, because who would do that? Uh, you don't have to worry about these things moving inward and shifting gears when you're trying to hold on for dear life. It comes with the Octane One seat here. I believe the newer ones have a little bit more comfortable seat than this, but I've had zero problems. It oftentimes just boils to, down to getting in shape and getting used to what you're riding. I have a little auto lock there. A lot of reviews on how worthless that is, but I found it to be super awesome for just popping into the coffee shop and there you go, got the thing. It's enough to keep the thieves at bay. You're sitting by a window, works for me. Strapped a little uh, 
pump there just in case you get a flat. Every now and then that happens. These are the Pan Racer Gravel King tires and they're 40 cc. Love them. They have ridden through literally everything. I've had zero problems with them. They have been an amazing tire so far and I will not hesitate to buy them again. I think this, I think the colors and the stickers on this, they're subtle. And that's one of the reasons why I actually went with this model instead of the 2018 model. I just like the way this thing looked. And I'll be honest, if I like the way my bike looks, it makes me want to ride it. So NS, great job on the 2017. I, I think you couldn't have done better. I think the newer models have slightly bigger tires than this. Uh, they're 43 and these are 40s and they have some more um, bolts for doing, uh, they have more bolts here for doing bike packing and things like that. That's not something I've really needed to use the bike for, so this has worked fine for me. I have these fun Mamba pedals. I think these have been awesome pedals because they're a true platform pedal on one side and then a clip in on the other. So I've been riding the, the 510s that clip in here but then when I want to flip it over, I still have the grip for a riding sun trail. This bike is, it's a road bike that can handle trail. It's a little more relaxed to slightly, it's got a really short rear end. So you can see how it's kind of tucked under and there's a little bend here in the, the, the C2. Um, but it is, the trend in these kind of gravel bikes is moving towards like a monster cross. Really big wide tires, basically a rigid mountain bike with drop bars. And for me, just have a mountain bike then. You know, what's the point? People will probably argue with me on that over and over. You know, I can see how if you're doing long bike camping type rides and you're out in the middle of nowhere. But this bike here is cool because it still likes the road and it likes the smooth gravel. So when you're riding along and you're in your zone, it feels good, you can ride fast. You're not getting bored because you're slugging along on a bike that has a ton of drag. And it's strong enough that when you're like, hey, let's go off the trail, then you can. So it still has that heart of a bike that loves the road and likes going fast, but has the capability of doing a little more, especially if you've got the bike skill. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the 2017 NS Reg Plus Road and Gravel plus whatever else. And if you're like me, easily distracted, like to jump around, but need something to train on or just commute or ride around town, this bike is awesome.